Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Connor Rolls, and this is the Nerd of Gods podcast, episode 194. Joining me, it's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Steven, Michael Ant, Darren Till, Billy Bob, Sims, the third. Thunderbirds. Did you have the Thunderbirds over there? I like vaguely know what that is. They were like puppets and they had like like, like cool spaceships. So was it like a TV show where like the puppets pop up? Like someone's someone's controlling the puppet? No, it was all... Imagine Star Trek. Okay. But puppets. So like, um, fuck, what's that movie? With like you know you know America yeah like folk, just that yeah, that like that, that. Yeah. but imagine that like in the seventies okay great. or eighties <laughs> can you like see the strings yes <laughs> is that what was going on here yeah okay, you great. can you can see the strings sounds fucking but awesome but like man. but they had like cool fucking they remade the film and all Google it I can't go I can't show you Google it now um and then they redid the film anyway and then there was like this English. Well known, they're currently doing like a reunion tour right now. A band called Busted. Did you get Busted over there? Who? Busted. Busted? No, I've been it's... busted by the cops, but like, no. No, you know have. You're way too innocent. <laughs> busted. I don't know if they tried it in America. Um, so they had a. I don't, you don't really like rock music, do you? You know, this is a here video and there. Here busted. And there. Busted. Yeah. Wait, Busted is another TV show. Oh, okay. No. This really does look just like Team America. Busted Charlie. Like you see that? Look at that. Yeah. Hey, look, you're Yeah, in but it. that is that's the re that's the that's the remake. Oh, that's the remake. So if you put original th- put a re- put put original Thunderbirds in. That one? That's the yeah, original. Yeah, that's the original. Okay. Th- and then they had their own individual like spa- uh like planes or <laughs> ships or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck is that? Like Tracy and all that, Penelope and shit like that. God, could you imagine being a kid in the 70s? What a boring time that must have been. You're just fucking out there throwing sticks at cars or whatever the fuck, and then you got to come back in and watch this. Ugh. At least when I was growing up, I had video games. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, this, exactly. Um, so this, this Busted, they made like a song for the thing. They're like... um. I can't remember how they the made went. the theme song for Thunderbirds. The new, the film, because there was a film as the well. New one, okay. And it, but this was years ago. But that was like it was a big tune. It was like when the Thunderbirds are golden. Oh, I see. Anyway, busted like massive back in the day. But like they came to America, busted in USA. Do you remember? And it been to the year three thousand. No much Jonas change. Brothers? No, you fucking dickhead. <laughs> Put some respect on the word busted. And then, like, in the song, he's like... Wait, you tell me just... Jonas Brothers just ripped off that song? No. Oh, no. That's from before. That was weird. Uh, busted. Uh, the band. Um, no. Um... I'm telling you, Jonas Brothers ripped off that song. No. Like, they have a version of that song. No, but... No. Oh, don't say that. But no, in the, but the song was like... Um... Oh, I don't matter. But anyway, they mentioned like the fox compassor in the song. I was like, oh, I know what that means. That's it. Oh, so they're nerds too. Okay. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Um, busted in America. Okay, busted. I'm not going to go like see them or anything. You should. Like, it's great. No. Oh, mate, no. they were sick. Like, when I was 13, no. little chubby little I've Steve. I've never like willingly been to a concert. So you've never. <laughs> you know, oh. oh, guess who I'm, I'm, guess go. who I'm going to see? Guess who I'm going to see? So, like, um, me and Natalie were just talking. Oh, I don't matter. It's- I'm not going the long way around. Um, Tenacious D. Oh, really? That yeah. Because be um, okay. cool. they're, tour- they're touring next year. And it was dead weird. Some bloke, uh, when I-, I was serving him, and I was listening to his conversation, I shouldn't be. And he was like, oh, uh, friends on about me getting me tickets for Tenacious D. And I was like, oh, I thought they just finished the tour. Um... But no, yeah, it's called something about, I don't know, something meatball tour or something. Oh, man, I can't wait to see Tenacious D. Tenacious D is sick. Black really, really took that by the horns, huh? It was really like, hey, we're going to we're gonna do this thing, the band and everything, and go on tour and shit. Crazy, Crazy. man. Just him and that big fat bloke. Love it. Yeah, that's all they do, huh? They should make <laughs> another one of those movies. That, that's a great movie. It really is. Haven't, I can't remember seeing it. Oh, really? Okay. I've listened to the soundtrack about a thousand times. You got to be just high out of your mind to watch it. I need to watch it, man. 
<laughs> but I remember my dad like my dad used to listen to concert. My dad used to listen to Krang all the time, and like Tenacious D, like the greatest song in the world was on tribute. Yeah. That's the song, isn't it? And I was just like list, watching this video, like Dave Grohl as the fucking uh as the devil. Yeah, and I was just like, but the then guy I from the Foo Fighters, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And mate, I was like, I remember watching Krang with my dad all the time. It'd be like they have Linkin Park, Slipknot, Psychosocial. Like rock is different, isn't it? Like <laughs> it's just different now, you know. And then like what's that what's that song like? Is it Queens of the Stone Age? It's just like dun, 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 dun. Oh, from uh, oh. from Guitar Hero. Yeah, yeah, that's that. it. Yeah, okay, I remember those chords. Yeah. Yeah, 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 And then and then you the, the bass up. bit. <laughs> and the bass bit is like boom, 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 boom. Oh, me, music different, man. Music is different. <laughs> but no, <laughs> Guitar Hero. Bro. When we get it back? When are we getting that back? No, stop. stop. Oh, don't be don't, stupid. Don't. Come on, man. No one's We've gonna got. Buy no. You're gonna buy another one. <laughs> you're gonna buy another. Listen, one. Listen, I be want honest. an unnecessary box of 150 pounds with a plastic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want that stupid drum kit sitting oh in the corner of your God. living room now? Honest to God, you want to bring mate. that back? You want I don't know. I know. I've told you. I know. I have told you, right? But we've done 194 episodes of this. For me and my mate Jason and Billy, we put our money together. And we were about 17 at this time. Like, we are old. Like, no, we're not. 15, <laughs> 16, been, 17. too old for this? Okay. Never. And like, we put all our money together. He was jamming on drums and he loved it as well. He loved the drums. Billy on guitar. Billy's boyfriend that nobody liked. He was on bass. <laughs> and I was singing all night. All night. And obviously, because I was like, I had all the dodgy copies. So we had Guitar Hero 1, we had Guitar Hero 3, World Tour, Guitar Hero, uh, what was 4? No, 3, 4 was World Tour, wasn't it? Yeah, 4 is World Tour, yeah. Rock Band. And then uh, Rock Band took over. Rock Band 1, 2, and 3. Uh, then was Band Hero. Oh my God. Like we, Honestly, like all that game needed to do was just have the like, greatest hits. And like we and just put it on like Guitar Hero. Because like SingStar do that now. Like you mm-hmm. buy a sing star, you only have to buy a sing star and then buy a pass and you get all the songs from every game. Okay. I'll, I'll just dance as well, do it. Just shit, dance yeah. does it. That's Couldn't it. You, later on, or maybe now this is what people do. You could just download songs and then just put them on and, and you get like any song you want. You could do it on a PC. On a PC, that's how you did that? Okay. I'll never forget in high school, I, I was probably like, we, we like just turned 16, you know, and I think one of my friends just got his license. And like one of the older kids invited us to a party. We're all like, oh shit, we're going to a party. You know, we're gonna be, it's gonna be drugs and drinking and all that shit. We walk in and it's just a bunch of nerds playing rock band. Oh, mate. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? Honestly, uh, God, fucking rock band. The best thing ever. And we'd be jamming out until, Mo- here, until Billy's mom would say, nah, it's like it's too late. It's too much, yeah. Because <laughs> like yeah. plastic, no, like, dr- them drumming kid, on plastic. My, uh... Yeah, that, that's exactly what would happen. My my friend, uh, you know, we lived in apartments, and so I would always go over to his place, and he had the drum kit, and I just remember his neighbors pounding on the fucking yeah. wall. <laughs> because it was like, it was it just was so in rhythm loud. as well. Just, <laughs> you know, just loud as fuck. But he was sick. The goddamn he was so good at it. Like, it, we were it talking was. like, it, it, we were talking like hard. Even I was like jamming on. Oh, he was actually good at the drum. Yeah, yeah. It was hard. he was good at it. That was oh, hard was, to be good at. Yeah, yeah, and then I mean, I never forget the time. Then he, they moved in together when we started to get a bit older, and he he bought an or hired a, a, an actual electronic drum set because then you could just put you just put your headphones in, okay, and then obviously we, everything would sound like a legit. Head, don't you know I mean it was a proper drum set? Gotcha. Yeah, and he hired someone to teach him and everything. Really? Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah, this guy got really into it. Yeah, but then he found a pussy and then he just came over. You know? mm. <laughs> just gave up then, right? Just pussy. You know, and <laughs> just does stuff to your mind. And then, and then pussy came out in 2005 <laughs> and it was over. <laughs> oh, dear me. Um, the greatest game of them all. <laughs> but no, I don't know. Yeah, like, I, know, I didn't have to. We didn't have to I'm not allowed to talk about it. Obviously, I know we, we know this video game well, goes. Blah, 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 fuck it. But like, no, nah, it can't happen, can it? There's got what? to be a way around of Guitar oh, Hero. Guitar, Hero. guitar yeah. Hero flourishing. Didn't we again. just do this? Like, didn't didn't this just happen, like, recently? Like, 2018, 2019? Did they try to bring it, it what, back? What year was it? Guitar Hero. Am I crazy? Because this is what no, I was saying wrong. during that. Guitar yeah, Hero. like, it came back and it just completely failed. 
new. maybe it wasn't even Guitar Hero. Maybe it was Rock Band or something. But uh, they tried to bring it back, and it just completely failed. I, I just don't see people buying all the equipment again, you know? And then Daniel was saying, like, you know, just change it to play with the controller. And it's like, no one wants to play with nobody the wants, controller. Nobody wants to play with the no, controller. No, that was, that was the worst. Guitar Hero thing. Live. It's 2015. 2015. Damn, that was way long. <laughs> and the ago. and the actual was... and the actual picture. Oh my lord! Um, is the if you type it in, it's kind of funny. The first video on it. Mm. Okay. And so they always say ago, they always already. say wow. it's their highest video. 1.5 million views. That's it. That's their highest video. Yeah, yeah. It's not that much. You think it'd be more? 6k likes. Um, but yeah, the guitars look sick. To be fair. Yeah, I mean, it was cool. I just feel like it was a time and place thing, you know? I don't see it coming back. But they want to. I know. But, like, eh, do they? Do they? That was Bobby, okay? And Bobby's about to be out of there in two months' time. <laughs> yeah, but Phil wants that back. Does Phil want that? Does Phil I think want so. That back? I don't I know think... if he does. I think Phil is still playing Vampire Survivors, and he hasn't gotten off that <laughs> I <laughs> in, think... like, the last year. We are... You know, we don't have them anymore. But like, people, I bet people do. Well, they'll find out. Demon Sims. Let's get into the show proper. It's been another busy week in the world of video games. First up, Steven. <laughs> I'm going to say Steven a lot. You Stop ready? It. <laughs> I just know you don't like it. All right. Uh, first off, <laughs> Xbox held a partner preview showcase earlier today, about about an hour ago, and uh, two hours ago. Steven, you watched it. I did, did not. I? I didn't. But I, mean, I did. You did kind I? of vaguely watched it. It was there, made noise. Yeah. I'm happy they're doing these. I guess like it's cool. Like uh, it, I'm always down for something like that. If they're always going to be like this, where it's like not many surprising announcements, but you're kind of just showing off trailers or thing, cool. At least you're setting expectations very low, right? It was weird. It was very much, you know, when you get in the middle of a, you know, when you're watching a big showcase, but you get to the middle of it and they're just panned and stuff at you, like one after the yeah. other. And it was that, but there was no voice. And it was okay. almost like like a PlayStation show, not a play, like a PlayStation State of Play or a Nintendo Direct yeah. without a voice. Okay. So it, that, that was weird. weird. Or was that bad? I think it came across as weird. Okay. Because it was like. It was like trailer. Oh, here's like a QR code for an interview with a dev. Okay. And it was just very much like trailer. That's odd. It was. It just felt. It missed. I think a lot of people. It 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 lacked personality. In that in that voiceover, I don't know. Maybe someone did. People disagree. Look, it was well. It was well put together. Like, I expected a surprise. Uh, I don't think we got anything, because um, like the first the first trailer was the Yakuza Yakuza six trailer, and um, they showed off a thing. yeah, and they showed off like a, an island. I forgot what it's called now. Uh, so look, sorry. No, I can I got it up right here. I could probably what, find. What it was it called? Uh, like a Dragon Infinite Wealth will continue the franchise streak of including in depth mini games that aren't necessary to the story. Okay, you know, where's the island? Uh, Don Doku. So, the, yeah, they showed that off, and it Don was Doku almost Island. like it was almost like Animal Crossing for adults. Okay, that's what's going on here. So, then obviously, Getting I made the cool joke. I here. made the joke of like, this is gonna be my first Yakuza game, and I expected the whole it's out now. I thought it'd be like a you know, here's something that will keep you going. And basically, you're on this little island. And literally, you're talking, we're talking levels of Animal Crossing, like designing your own paths, building furniture, um, making sure you get uh, people to visit the island are happy, giving them gifts, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, this is going to drop now, isn't it? And it didn't. Oh, the game has a release date. Yeah, it's 24th of January. But this very, yeah, look, yeah. very look, looks like a, a, a bit of a laugh, if that makes sense. And I know it's yeah, very they, tongue in cheek series. I know they do a lot of mini games in this game. Last game had like a business management uh, <laughs> mini game thing going on, and uh, that I had I had a lot of fun with that actually. But, if you uh, watch it, yeah, this care. is interesting. I don't like Animal Crossing all that much, but I do like 
if you were, if you were to watch things. it, watch it, and you yeah. were like, any time you were like, out now, out now, and it was like, oh no, it's actually it comes with the game. Yeah. Oh, it, you thought this was going to be like a whole side thing? Yeah, I thought this is yeah. just on its own. Oh, okay, okay. Today, you know, or oh, have this while we wait, and I was like, and I was like, this is going to be my first get because it, it looked decent. It looked like you know, like Animal Crossing for adult. It looked great, and I was like, I want to build furniture. Hell yeah! Like legitimately, like you have a room, put furniture where you want it. You know, have to go and get the resource resources or etc. Et I don't even say decent, you know. That's scary because that sounds like something I could get addicted to, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but I said the same thing with the Starfield outpost, and I never even touched that shit. So I don't. I, I guess we'll see. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, with the partner showcase, they did show off like a dragon, infinite wealth. Stephen Sims just gave you a description of what was in the trailer. Great. There you go. Coming out in January. Can't wait. Excited for it. Are you actually gonna play this game? I'm gonna play for that mode. Yeah. Just for that mode, okay. You're to be fair, to <laughs> like my January is definitely taken up by Prince of Persia. Okay. Wow, you're super into that one, huh? Super. I'm in. I yeah. am day okay. one. I can't wait. Dope. Dope. Yeah, I think that's like mid-January, so that's like one of the first games up next year. Mm. That'll be cool. That'll be cool. Uh, next in the showcase, then, they showed off a new trailer for Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake. We got our first gameplay look, and this uh, this game looks way further along than I actually expected it to be. I, I, I was not expecting to see gameplay this early or anything like that. I guess when they said it's coming out next year, they actually meant it, which I didn't believe them at first. No, I didn't. Um, but no, yeah, what they showed today, it looked decent. It looked um, a lot more ready than what I thought it would. Because obviously what we got was a little CGI trailer. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I can't wait. I look forward to playing this new one that's came out the past a couple of days. Yeah, I want to buy the not played collection. Them. Not played them. I, I haven't either. Fake I haven't gamers. I've, the only one I've played is five. Some would say, yeah, me neither. I got to about yeah. halfway and I was like, oh, I'm not finished this. I'm out. No, no. I got way too distracted with like the whole base building yeah. side thing. And then it was just, I put in like 60 hours and I was like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, too, I had no yeah. idea what was going on in that fucking story at all. Not Ooh. a clue. Some people but yeah, I'll still... play this. Uh, I know this is the first one, like in in canon, right? Like in story wise. So I think that's why they're going with uh, three first. But from what I've heard, you should actually play play it in uh, in release order because like in the and some things. So uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. But I don't know. I'm excited to check out the first one. I wish they just remade the first one first. Yeah, kinda. it don't make sense, does it? Yeah, it like, just it's really, gonna really be weird. Do the oldest one first, like. Yeah, because that would that would sell as well. Yeah, I'm wondering how that plays too nowadays. You know, I have a lot of trouble going back to like super old games and then booting them up and trying to play them now. It's what was the like, oldest? What's the one that you really struggled with? Ah oh, man, trying to think. What did I try? I tried Jack and Daxter a couple of years back. Uh, and I was just I never played those as a kid, and then I was just like, yeah, this just feels like shit. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Yeah. Uh. Continuing on, then. We've got another trailer for Alan Wake 2, which comes out this Friday. Steven Sims, I'm not watching this trailer. Very excited for Alan Wake 2. I think reviews drop tomorrow morning. I don't so, know. So. It's been late, hasn't it? It's yeah, very it's late. Yeah, I think it's it's like very early I've tomorrow not, morning. I've been too busy with Spider-Man to even... I just, I just expected it to drop today. What, the game? No, the Our reviews. reviews? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think... It sounded like I'm kind of funny they got them on Monday. So I wonder if everyone got them on Monday and they're kind of rushing to complete it. I don't know. Maybe it's not a good sign if... Uh, that isn't a good sign. They didn't send them out on Monday, yeah. Maybe a lot of patches and whatnot. I could see this being one that's, like, too buggy. I know people are people are loving complaining about bugs everywhere, left and right, but uh, I could see this one coming out being, like, a bit buggy type of thing. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, did Control come out buggy? Yeah. That was pretty notoriously, because that was a very late... Well, that was like late 2019, August 2019. Yeah, but it was, yeah, that yeah, game it was, was in the summer, wasn't it? Because I remember it came out. It yeah, was, I, it, yeah was it was almost like, like um, 2019. It was something I'd never really paid attention to. Yeah, pretty notoriously buggy, actually. That game got a lot of complaints on how buggy it was. And then you remember a lot of people waited for the next gen version. And then, and then it was like completely fine and fixed. And that's when people really started loving that game, I think. But nonetheless, I didn't have that many problems when I played Control, so I don't know. 
I don't know. I played people it. People really like complain really about bugs nowadays, you know. People yeah, are really fuck up off. their ass about this. Like, stuff. do you like, know what I mean? Like, if you want, if you want, I can I can sit here. I play Spider Man all weekend. Yeah, uh, it crashed on me once. It crashed on you. Yeah, See, I haven't done. had a single problem with Spider Man. I don't think. Um, like, I haven't noticed anything. Oh no, I've I've nearly fell through the world. Okay. Uh, um, it crashed on me. Heart crashed on me. Broke my heart because I was just swinging and I was just like, I'm swinging, and then do do. Oh, hold on a minute. I was fuming, uh, yeah. and then um, in on the Coney Island bit, uh, there's this opportunity. You can just sit down on a bench. Yeah, I did that, <laughs> and I just couldn't get up. I couldn't get. He didn't give me the option to get oh, off the bench. I was like, oh, man, Peter, you know, this is <laughs> this is me. I'm like, oh shit. Um, I think I see. <laughs> it was the same with Starfield though, too, where I was just like, I was impressed with how polished Starfield was. Mm. But then you, you know, you go on fucking Twitter, it's just like, look at all the bugs. It's like, Jesus Christ, people, what bugs? Like, oh, what mind you, you what are you guys expecting? I, I, I fell for the map on in arc in an in a, on a city in a city in Starfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, okay. What's that place think, called? The Western place. I think that happened. You go in the store. You go. In, you go there. Oh, in the store. Yeah, yeah. I can never remember the name. Um, some of the name. And the thing is, it pissed me off as well because um, I got these steps, and I'd fall and cr- and just fracture both my knees. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Your knees so are then, done. and then <laughs> I was just like, it was not my fault. Um, it's not my fault. <laughs> but I didn't have to mention. You medicine. were trying to do the fucking puddle yeah. thing, weren't you? That's why you were there. Yeah, just, you're trying to steal from that I, store. <laughs> sure. Um, Little bastard. But yeah, I had to reload the game and stuff. But no, yeah, like, I broke both my legs. And I was like, fuck. And I didn't have the my medicine. My favorite was in Skyrim where like they, they purposely put chests underneath a map in one of the cities. <laughs> and like people would find them because you fall through. Mm. I forget. Uh, it's like in the main city too. Dragon Reach. That's what it's called. But whatever. Uh, continuing on with the Xbox Showcase, uh, we got another trailer for Ark Survival. No release date or anything. Zoned out. I'm really on I don't care. Vin Diesel? Fuck Vin Diesel. Okay, fuck Vin Diesel. Gotcha. Did you hear he denied uh, John claude Van Damme from being in the Fast and Furious franchise? He was like, nope. And John uh-huh. claude Van Damme was like, I want to be in Fast and Furious. And no. Was, nope. We're not the Expendables, are we? No. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Not Go over yet. there. That's what the old people get there. Dude, Vin Diesel's probably like 60 something, honestly. He could be in the Expendables. There's definitely <laughs> a crossover there in the Expendables versus Fast oh, That'd be fucking cool. Someone needs look, to say I the just, Expendables. I just, write the, I just say these things. Like, you know. I mean, you put that out in the universe and they will uh, they will pay it forward. Uh, next mm-hmm. up, Manor Lords gets a PC Game Pass release date and gameplay trailer. Steven Sims, I'm sure you're all about this. I genuinely zoned out. I'm so sorry. April 26, by the way. And I didn't watch it. This is a horrible recap. Yeah, no matter. I ain't good shit. We're good. Listen, we're good. Yeah, fuck I watch the shit I want to watch. All right, you're here to listen to my... Look, oh, is anybody going to play it? No. Oh, no one cares. You know what I might play, though, Steven? Robocop what? Rogue City coming yes. out on November 2nd. Yes. New gameplay trailer. Dead, Dead or Alive, you're coming with me. Dead or Alive, you're coming with me. Dude, I've never seen Robocop. Oh, this my God. Awesome. Robocop is so I've fucking never sick. Seen you don't understand how good Robocop is. Like, I had videos. Is it good? I might watch it. Oh, mate, Robocop's so good. How many good. are there? So good. There's like three or something? There was like three movies and then a TV series. There's a TV series? Yeah. Ooh. Shoot up, mate. Honest to God. What? That's Let me synergy. see. Synergy. Robocop. TV series. Oh, you now, have to watch the film Robocop? as well. Robocop? Because I was under the impression that it was Arnold Schwarzenegger no, for like the longest time. Robocop TV series. Not you remember cool. Turbo Man? Turbo Man. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Fucking best Audi film ever. Oh, it really is. Really is. What's that movie called? Uh, Jingle All the Way. Jingle All the Way, yeah. And it's Great so movie. weird because you'd Great never think it was movie. about Turbo Man. Like, I was I, all about Turbo Man. I fucking love Turbo Man. Fucking love that program. And then, like, there's this toy shop near me that sells the Turbo Man doll. And I'm like, nah, really? I really want it. And she's like, you're not having it. I'm like, hold on a minute. What? I mean, Hold I on a minute. I'm a grown man. <laughs> I'm a grown man. She's like, what are you do with I'll it? I was like, do you know what shit on us? in the tub? <laughs> yeah. I just see you. Like, um, episode list. Robocop. Um, now, when did the TV show come out? 94. 94? March 14, okay, 94. Okay. And was the whole movie series, is that a whole 80s movie series? Or did that leak into the 90s? So this well? was like, just the shit. This is just a show. Um, 
I don't know how many episodes. How many series was it? It can't be that many episodes. I've never heard of the show in my life, so it can't be. I that think there's many. only one series. Yeah, probably. Probably was a very good. Uh, Where's the reboot of RoboCop? Or I think they did try. They this. did one. They did do it. Yeah, they RoboCop. Did one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, RoboCop. It was awful. Awful film. Was it okay? RoboCop. Re- it's like reboot. the Total Recall reboot. Oh, it's the worst film ever. That movie sucked. 2014. And the the suit was awful. It was terrible. Yeah. Okay, Robo- moving on then. Robocop. Robocop. Robocop 2. November 2nd. Robocop coming out. Mode. I know people really like the demo on PC. So, uh, I oh, yeah. Know. I, I was going to play it. I'm genuinely excited for this game. Yeah. This game looks awesome. Uh, I think it actually does look like a fun first person shooter. So, yeah. I don't know. Might be something to keep your eye on. I thought, Next yeah, but I, it didn't even. It, got, it was on the show, but it wasn't. I assumed it would be on Games Pass. Oh, this game? This would have been a great Game Pass game. Yeah, it is a great Game Pass. Go, go, go get this on Game Pass. But no, um, who's the... I want to say... You keep going. I'm going to find out who the actor is. Robocop. Okay, sure. Film, uh, next game. Still Wakes Peter Weller. the Deep. Still Wakes the Deep is the title of the game. Uh, got a new trailer. It's like some sort of first-person so action awesome. game with horror elements oh. in it. Not and entirely I'm, sure what's going on here. I do know this game, the Dungeons of Hinterburg game. It's a really doing. cool art style. But they were just like twenty twenty four in a video. They're like, "Hello, we're to, welcome to uh, Dungeon of Hinterburg." I know you've been me- mentioning you want to see more. I was like, "I said nothing." <laughs> I said Are you nothing. doing an Indian accent? Or nah, you... it's like a <laughs> <Can't tell. laughs> German ish. Listen, there I'm European. Go, okay. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Is it true over there, Indians are like Mexicans over here? <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> so <laughs> like, we, we have Mexican food just everywhere. Walking up thin ice of racism here, but whatever. yeah, definitely, it's fine. <laughs> we um, have we have Mexican food just left and right over here. Mexican restaurants, uh, you know, taco trucks, the whole thing. And, and I've heard that it's like that over there, but with Indians. Yeah, you know? like listen, yeah, you're only like you're Indian like a, <laughs> yeah, like because all of our not all of our most some of our shops are owned by Indian people. Um, yeah, and like. If if they're feeling good, and like they and they want to break the rules because like if you're serving, they do like hot samosas and hot like um onion bhajis and stuff, but they're not allowed. I don't know what any of those are. Are you never had a samosa? I don't think I've ever. A samosa no, I is do, like I don't a think triangle. I've ever had Indian food in my life. If I'm being honest, and it's like filled with like um, if it's like a vegetarian, it's like diced potatoes, onions, carrots, and it's all spiced up with like garam masala, crowpada. And I'm saying like, a lot of big words here. Oh, mate. I had some the other day. And they're sick. Honestly, you want like, onion bhajis, onion bhajis chopped up real nice. Then uh, ran through gram flour, seasonings, obviously garam masala, curry powder, um, you know, all the, all, the, all the seasonings. And then you deep fry this onion in a bowl. And then... Oh, is it like when you pull the onion apart, you know, and you got like a piece of onion then? Right? That's, after you that's fry like, it um, thing? that's like an onion. That's something else. That's like you have that with steak when you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. no, this is like obviously then, this is then Indian dog. This is a bit In, more. Indian fruit. This isn't. Because normally you like. <sighs> if you fried an onion like that, it would go crispy. Yeah. And the onion bodies are crispy, but they're more compact. Because okay. like the onion bloom is like that, and you, you can t- you kind of just pick at it, sure. And then, but an onion bhaji is more darker because of the seasonings on it. So like the curry, the curry seasoning, the garam masala, and the all the the spices will make it black. Okay. Anyway, this sounds very interesting. Anyway, yeah, well, you're right. You're right. Like you know, I can get a curry is like an English full English breakfast over here. You know what I mean? Is it really? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. That's so but, yeah, but the Indians are like... I would never like, wake up and be like, I want curry. Yeah, Indian people are like... Pff, like, we have like chicken tikka masala. Indian people... I used to work with an Indian lady. And we'd take the piss out of each other. Like, you know, call this racism. But it's just banter, in it? But like, she'd be like, what are you having? I'd be like, what are you having for your tea tonight? Curry. And then she'd just go, oh, what are you having for your tea tonight? Nuggets. Because it's banter. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Do you know what I mean? It's just great yeah, English yeah, banter. I got you. I got um, you. <laughs> but no, yeah, like I was saying about chicken tikka masala, and they'd be like, "That's not even a curry. That's not a curry for us." Like you made that. Like you English yeah. people ruined yeah, 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 yeah. 
like oh, that's court. exactly how like yeah. you, you, you tell Mexicans you're going to Taco Bell here, you know. It's like yeah. it's not like, Mexican food. <laughs> Puta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they fucking ate it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. Um Curry food, yeah, yeah, English ruined it. Let's, for let's stop talking about race before we get in trouble. You're gonna get cancelled <laughs> again. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got cancelled. Right. Um, next okay. game, Spirit of the North two. We'll see if Fox and Raven team it up to restore Lost Guardians mm. and find their way home. Wow, that's so what I said. So not just played the first one. There, oh yeah, she I was thinks, gonna say there's a first one. Well, she thinks the two the in the title. One. Gotcha. She thinks she's played the first one. Was it. this the um? The cute little uh, fucking Fox game that came out earlier this year on so. Switch. You re- <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't remember what that game was called. <laughs> but, like, it looks just like that. Anyways, whatever. Fox and the Hound 2 comes out later on Xbox this year or some shit. Uh, the next game they showed is called The Finals. And it's getting an open beta on October 26, 2023. I thought this looked cool. You were telling me this is going to fail immediately. But whatever. Mm-hmm. It's a first-person shooter with a grappling hook. So I'm kind of I'm kind of in. It's just these games just don't work anymore. It's a multiplayer anymore, game though, so I'm not gonna not gonna download it. Division. Nope. Don't want to work. I mean, that one's not even you know you know whatever. Yeah, you're right. Division. <laughs> the only one that works. You're right. <laughs> to, to the, uh, the last thing they showed is uh, I I Kuro, I K A R O. I don't I don't know how to. Daniel's not here, so I can't read words. Sims can't either, so we're fucked. I'm sorry, people. What, explain the game. Uh, the last game they showed. Explain the game. To be fair, Akira, your list oh, is wrong. It's called Akira Will Not Die. Your list is wrong. I know wrong my list is last wrong because it's yeah, on yeah. fucking IGN, and IGN just puts it in whatever yeah. fucking order they Alan want. Alan Wake 2 was the last game they showed. Idiots. Idiots at IGN. I, I, you can't spell idiots without IGN, let me tell you. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Got him. Ah. Uh, what is it? It's a fast-paced action game uh, with roguelite elements. Roguelite elements not like there's there's a difference in trust me it. yeah I, <laughs> there's a big difference uh it's from further lab and thunderful i do know thunderful so uh yeah whatever this looks uh horrible so yeah whatever that was the uh xbox game partner showcase there you go people the best preview you're gonna get you're welcome <laughs> you're very welcome you're welcome I'm really thirsty. <laughs> at least we talked about robocop you know uh exactly. continuing on then with uh a little bit of xbox news here not fully Xbox, but uh, whatever. On Fallout Day, we got news that the Amazon Fallout TV show will premiere on April 12th, 2024. Steven Sims, Fallout TV show. Uh, I'm pretty pretty excited as a uh, massive Fallout fan myself. I'm excited to see this uh, world come to live on a uh, live action television show. Sounds interesting. I don't know how I feel about Amazon doing it. They're kind of hit or miss for me. You know, I really like uh, Invincible. That's like the only thing that comes to mind. With uh, have you seen Invincible? Oh my fucking good baby Jesus, cause I have. Oh okay. Did you really? Have we never talked did about you? this? We have. I swear we did. Have we? Okay. Or well, was it, it come was, out like was Daniel ago. always around and we couldn't talk about it? Maybe. Maybe that was the problem. What was that? Anyways, was I that? fucking love the first season of Invincible. It's it's that they make the boys. I know people love the boys. What was it? No, because it was Invincible, and then is it Wonder Vision? That was at the same at the time. same time. Was that all the way back then? Yeah, I guess you're right. Early it was something like that. I remember, it, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, and it's just taking forever to get a second season, but we're finally getting it. I think it starts like next week. So, uh, very excited for that. But yeah, uh, back to the Fallout TV show. I'm pretty excited to see what they do here. I don't know what the story premise is going to be. It's a little weird. We haven't gotten a full scale trailer yet, but they just announced the release, the premiere date of the uh, the first episode. So that's cool. I know it's supposed to be something with, uh, I think the actor's name is Walter Goggins. I think his name is. But uh, he's playing a ghoul, and I know we're following him throughout this world. I'm I'm very curious to see what this could be. I always pictured a Fallout TV show as like an anthology series. Uh, that's that's kind of how I would do it. You know, just go around the world, different settings and stuff like that, do different weird, wacky episodes in the fallout verse the thing with fallout is you're gonna have to nail the sense of humor as well you know it's very dark and depressing but there's like that underlying sense of humor with everything fallout and i don't know how that's going to translate to a tv show but i'm excited to see it yeah i'm I'm excited to see i think if they did it every episode being a different part of the 
every episode being different, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Everyone's got like a different story in the in the in the in the world. Yeah. I think that would work. Yeah. And then somehow bring them all together. That'd be cool. I bring I think is that like House of Usher's doing it as well, I've heard like I'm hearing so many good things about this House of Usher that I might actually watch it. Oh, House of Usher is very good. You should watch House of Usher. House of Usher kind of did that, right? Like it kind of, each episode kind of focused on a different member of the family, but they were all in every episode pretty much. So that was a very like connected anthology series, I guess. You couldn't even really call it an anthology. But uh, yeah, I don't know what the Fallout TV show. I, I need to know like the full plot. We need a full trailer here. I know the trailer, there's a trailer that leaked, you know, some guy was like holding up a fucking phone camera while they were showing off a trailer at some sort of con and uh the 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 power armor looked very good from uh that that image but i don't know we need the full trailer before i can like fully judge what's going on here but i'm very excited nonetheless fall it's one of my favorite series so i will definitely watch it yeah i'm looking forward to that don't one. be halo don't be halo but amazon don't me amazon don't really have a bad record I, everything I've watched on Amazon. I feel like they've come out with stuff that like just no one talks about though. I mean, you know? I enjoyed Jack Reacher. Who? Jack Reacher. Yeah. Oh, but the guy from the office. Yeah, I enjoyed Who's in the Office? Jim? Jim from the Office? Isn't he in Jack Reacher? Am I thinking of something else? Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Who Oh no. Anyway. Not the um... British office. Not the British office. Did you, did, did you lose sound? No, I was just like, what you want? I was waiting for you to finish what you're saying. Oh, that's what I was saying. <laughs> that's it. Just not the British office. I don't know. Um, and then Invincible was decent. The boys always get yeah, good Invincible reviews. Was great. Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't get into the boys for some reason. A lot I don't know why. always talk about the boys. And such yeah, I know. Work. It's like the one show where I'm just like, eh, I'm not, not interested. I don't know why. I should get into it, though, at some point. I think they have other shows, though, that like just no one talks about. But yeah, they do have a pretty good track record. I don't know. Amazon certainly got the money to make a good Fallout TV show. And I think um, Christopher Nolan's brother is some somehow attached to the series or something like that. Yeah, it's like because uh, yeah, he made uh, Westworld, the, uh, that HBO show. And I think he brought his team over and now they're making the Fallout show. I think. I don't know. I could be completely wrong about that. Maybe I, was, maybe I hallucinated that. Who knows? Maybe. 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 But nonetheless, Fall TV show. Give me a full trailer so I can fully judge this thing. Yeah, no, it'd be not. I don't get why we haven't seen it. If the trailer's done, why are we not seeing it yet? Yeah, like why haven't you guys put that out? Very odd. And then you just announced a premiere date with uh with without the trailer. I don't know. Yeah, they because they really got to nail the tone and like the sense of humor. So need to see that. Experience <laughs> circulating that PlayStation's head of internal production, Connie Booth, is no longer with the company and has been replaced by Angie Smith from Guerrilla Games. <sighs> Steven Sims. That's another person leaving a big studio. Did big, you think uh, you do this bit on your own? You, you know, you're going to have to cut that out because, you, you know, we got a, you got a whole thing. You know, I'm not good alone, you know. Oh, I thought you did all right. I could hear you and everything. Oh, oh you could hear me. Wow, yeah, I was like, okay, okay. You did good, man. Why are okay. you so hard on yourself? Leave a eh, comment down you know, below. You know, and say, don't leave a comment. You do a good job. Don't leave a comment. <laughs> okay, Sims. <laughs> Connie Booth, the logger at PlayStation. Head of internal production. Seems like a big deal. I mean, like, just does it though? Yeah, I don't know. She's Sorry, been replaced Connie. already. I don't know. Yeah, Sorry, mate. Sorry. I guess. Sorry. It's, it's always unfortunate. David Daffy. You can't, you can't, you can't believe anything that guy says. No, he's a fucking hippie. Yeah, he's crazy. Yeah, he's cray cray. Not in a good way. Twisted metal came from that guy's head. Yeah, Do you really trust that yeah. guy. You know. I wonder, did he say anything about when the program came out? Uh, yeah, I actually listened say? to, uh, he liked it, actually. He actually liked the TV show quite a bit. Uh, I forget what I listened to with him. I think he was on Sacred Symbols, and I think they did, like, a review of the show, and oh, he was on it. Oh, right. Yeah. And he was quite yeah. happy with it. Yeah, he was quite happy with it. I actually really liked that show. Have we I talked about it. that yeah, show? Yeah, 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 that was a great yeah. show. Because I was like, I, because I convinced you it was good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, did. Yeah. What were we doing? And I binged that whole thing in, like, a weekend. yeah. Yeah. Me and Natalie were doing something. I was playing Pokemon, like OG Pokemon, on my Steam Deck, and we just had it on. And it was just in the background, but like distractingly. It's good. a perfect background show. Yeah, and it was, and then 
like in like episode five or whatever. No, because it was like ten episodes, wasn't it? I think it was eight. On what, like the second to last episode, where like it gets a bit sad, and you're like, what's gonna happen now? Yeah. Shout out to Anthony Mackie, man. Good actor. Good actor. Brilliant. Yeah, man. Showed his chops in that show, actually. Good show, man. Very good. And then number two just looked decent. Can't wait for season three, too. Two, yeah. And then you got fucking Daniel. Get on that. Sure, you fucking (laughs) idiot. I'm going to be over there having a good time while he's fucking miserable. I don't like shows. Hey, God. My good Peter fucking stinks. It's not very nice. Uh, feel free to talk shit. I don't think Daniel listens to the episodes he's not on. Well, no, so I always listen to him. I do. I listen talk, to him. Talk mad shit. I do too. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, next up, the media molecule has reportedly laid off 20 people from its studio, thus making the studio count around 115 people. Steven Sims, 20 people laid off media molecule. I'm going to be real honest about this one. I, I feel like media molecule, I guess I'm going to sound like an asshole, but you guys are kind of lucky to be open still. You know, it's uh, pretty unfortunate what's, uh, you know, it's unfortunate anytime anyone gets laid off. You know, you don't want to see people lose jobs and stuff like that. Hopefully they land back on their feet, all that. But Media Molecule, oh, I would have expected all that. I, Media Molecule, I would have expected to be shut down by Sony by now. I would have expected them to be shut down before Pixel Opus was shut down, you know? Pixel Lopez actually put out a good game uh, recently. And Dreams, Dreams is okay. But when did Pixel Opus put out a good game? Concrete Genie. I was like... Okay, not recently, but within the last four years or whatever, right? Okay. Their last good game was... was Our last game was good, right? Unlike Dreams. And Dreams is okay. I, uh, you know, I liked Dreams for what it was, and I actually really liked the art story in Dreams. And I heard they made another campaign in Dreams, like Media Molecule themselves. Yeah, I think it was... Something. Blessing keeps banging on about it, don't he? Yeah. I, I want to check that out Trend. at some point. So I'm sure, I'm sure that's good, but uh, yeah, I think you got it. I think that's it. Nailed it. Good job. Um, but yeah, I would like to. I don't know, man. With uh, you know, PlayStation's in a weird place right now where they're transitioning to the live service model, and they're also trying to keep up with their really, uh, you know, high quality AAA games, the third person action games that we all know and love. So yeah, I don't. I just don't think Media Molecule fits in that role anywhere. You know, it's like Media Molecule is 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 a much they are much closer to an indie dev than one of these giant AAA studios that uh, that PlayStation is leading on nowadays. And I don't see Media Molecule making a live service game. You know, it, maybe they could make something wacky in there, but um, I don't know. What are you thinking? I mean, I think a bit personally. My 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 my, my boys from the UK are getting sacked. Yeah. It's just... It's always a weird one, when it, Dreams? Because it was, like, forever in the background. Like, Where's Dreams? What's happening with Dreams? When's Dreams coming out? Dreams this, Dreams that. And then, I don't know, these games never do well, do they? Or create your own world. Like, I suppose you always, you've got Roblox for that. Yeah. And then, yeah, like... It seems like Roblox really has taken over that. Dreams just seemed... It, it felt too far in the create your own world. Like, there wasn't a game here, and it was just like, a, hey, if you, you could really create your own game here. And, like, I could see certain people getting really into that, but not a lot of people. It's not like Forge with Halo or something, where it's just a small amount. What do you got, a signer notebook? I hated that when I was a kid. But uh, Dreams, it, it just took it too far with the create your own game. It was just too too vast. You know, they, I couldn't wrap my head around it. And I'm someone that does like creating my own stuff inside of Forge and, and, and stuff like that. And smaller games, you know. But this was just, it, it just, there wasn't a game there. You know, you really just had to make your own game and make your own fun with it. It's almost like, if you like, the, the creation tools were so good. They were good. But if you were if you were a creator of games, um, you're not going to publish this game on on Dreams, are you? If that makes no. sense, like because right. you're not going to get anything from it. You're not going to you're not you're not going to you're not going to earn anything. You're not going to. It's not going to be. It, it, you can't put it on Steam, then, can you? You can't yeah. go. Oh, High Dreams, or, or you know, Media Medical, PlayStation. Look, I've made this fantastic game. It's getting millions and millions of hits, or getting thousands of hits. It's one of your highest grossing games on on this platform. No, you're not going to do that, are you? You're going to go and learn on Epic or Unity or or Unreal or whatever. You're going to go and do it on them, aren't you? It's like, it's all right us having a good time on it. We're not going to make a good game. It's going to be shit. And it's going to be like, oh, I made a little game one thing. It's just, it just seemed like if you're going to put a lot of effort into it, 
Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? If you're yeah, going to put no, effort like, in, you, make you it effort. Would go, it, if you we, were going to make a whole yeah. game on Dreams, you might as well just go and make it on some other real yeah. engine. So then right? put it on yeah. Steam or... Just do it on Unity or whatever, and there's loads right? of you different, can actually sell it. Yeah. There's loads of different websites out there as well that you can download fan-made games, and they're actually working video games. Like, yeah. um, you, I, you, I've noticed uh, over the years, Natalie watching, you know, big YouTubers like Jack, Jack Septiguy and Markiplier, they play these ho- indie horror games. And they've just been sent them over by because people have created them and, you know, they've got their credits in the title and they're making these, like, creative, you know, 8-bit horror games. Okay. Getting conned out of three quid. Yeah, it's it's like with Dreams. The, the squeeze just wasn't worth the juice if you're a player, right? Like, you, you could sit there and make, like, the best game ever in Dreams, but you're only going to get so many eyeballs on it. There's going to be such a small amount of people that would actually play your game that it just wasn't worth it you might as well just go over and actually make that game on your pc and and, and sell it even and something like that so yeah unfortunate me molecule hopefully they uh we know they are working on a new project so you know 20 people it's a lot of people don't get me wrong but it's not it's not the end of the studio quite yet i think they'll get one more shot here to make a game make something good you know like people love that tearaway game that came out um mid last gen and it came out on a uh, PS Vita and stuff. And that, and that was like a real game. And a lot of people ended up really liking that. So I, I think Media Molecule has it in them to make something and something great. I mean, the little big planet was, you know, very popular at the time too. So, you know, they got the chops for it. Yeah. It's just, it's times have changed. Media Molecule was not PS3 on that PS3 platform anymore. It's, I don't know. Obviously, I don't want to get rid of it. They just need a good... I don't know. Like, look at Roblox. Like, that wo- Roblox had a massive launch on PlayStation 5. Yeah. Like, my my daughter now plays with more friends on Roblox than she did two weeks ago. If that makes sense. Like, oh, a lot of her... Because a lot yeah. of her friends... Are, no, like, because a lot of her friends are PlayStation. Yeah. So then, like, she's like, oh, you know, I won't mention names. Of one of our good friends come and play this and then they, you know they're sat there playing with each other at the weekend and uh, do you know what I mean like it's just Roblox is yeah fair enough it's not the best platform because it's not as monitored and blah 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 and there's loads of microtransact- microtransactions but th- I was talking to someone today about it like there's games on there that are made by legit developers like there's there's about seven games on Roblox that have toys out like in toy shop yeah yeah, like my daughter plays Adopt Me. Like every every day is got to do my login history. I don't know why. Um, but then you can go to Smith's Superstores, your local toy shop, and you can buy plushies. Close that door, please. And then help get your sister's doodle. Um, just shut up. <laughs> don't have kids, everybody. Um, what was it? Yeah, like so these, these are legit developers. Like, you know, but they found this engine that works for them. People then like obviously kids are crazy and they'll buy these stupid things and there's a loop and then there's regular content every week. There's a new update. There'll be a double XP. There'll be a Halloween update and then there's the toys. Like at, you know, granted what I just said about the Dreams Engine and you know why would you make a game? But Roblox, you've got millions and millions of people on there. It's one of the highest rated, highest downloaded games, highest most played games ever. If you're gonna make a game, make it on Roblox. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. It's nice to and have And that's these... probably the unfortunate part of Dreams, right? Is that, like, Roblox did exist. Yeah. In a yeah. sense, yeah. And I know, obviously, Dreams is a much better engine, but Roblox is free and accessible. iPads. Yeah. The... And it's popular with the kids, you yeah. know? Yeah. Popular iPads, Xbox, now PS5. Like, <laughs> Dreams, like, you know, kind of funny's biggest complaint is it wasn't free on PlayStation. Yeah. Why did it? Yeah, if they free? really wanted to get behind dreams, they should have should have came free been, on PS5. Yeah, PS5 day one. On PC here's your dreams. By now, here's, right? so here's dreams for you know for this, and here's um, Robot Boy for that. Yeah. Okay. Next up, then let's uh, rip through these ones quickly because I want to talk about Spider Man before we gotta go. Uh, well, speaking of Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man 2 has sold 2.5 million copies in the first day, making it the fastest selling PlayStation first party game in a 24 hour period. Steven Sims, not very shocking. 
Yeah, but it's a weird one, isn't it? Because normally they go for the three day thing. Yeah, they normally go for the three day thing. I think weird. they just want to get it out there with the twenty four hour period. Thing. What was I don't God know. of War one shocked me, and I, I'm guessing if I'd watched an older episode, I'd have been like, I'd have been saying the same thing. But like, what, five million in five days? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. That's stupid. Yeah, God of War is wild. <laughs> yeah. Stupid. Um. Yeah, it's great. I mean, Spider Man sells itself, doesn't it? Like, you know, people yeah. say out there, they're like, oh, yeah, sex sells. No, Spider Man sells. <laughs> sex okay. and Spider Man. Ooh, it, man. Now we're talking. But yeah, so. it's crazy. Like, yeah, I'm not surprised. Like, number one had such a, you know, number one was perfect. You know, obviously, this is coming from a big Spider Man, but like, number one was perfect. Mars was just a bit more. And then two, you know, they, they were just going to. But he's come out in the previews and the reviews he's just more Spider-Man but like it's all it never needed to be more Spider-Man and it is just that perfect yeah and- yeah you can feel the hype around it like I've, I've been talking to dudes at work about it you know and that's when I know it's like oh yeah. okay this yeah. is leaking over into like the more casual yeah. audience and stuff like that I think it's just uh, I mean it speaks to the quality right of these Spider-Man games you know this isn't this isn't your when we were kids getting a new Spider-Man game every year that's based off one of the movies or, you know, just a random Spider-Man tie-in game or something like that. This isn't that, you know, these are like very high quality, well done Spider-Man games. And I think that really leaks over and it's why they sell so well, you know? Yeah, it's Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Spider-Man indeed. We'll talk about that when we get into what we've been playing because I know me and him have both been playing it. Uh... Next up, then, Insider Gaming has reported that Far Cry is getting an extraction shooter uh, multiplayer game. So there you go, Far Cry. Uh, it's in the works over at Ubisoft, of course, and uh, it is separate from the next mainline Far Cry game and will be set in Alaska. Okay, extraction shooter. What's up with that extraction shooters now? Uh, like, what's that's the new hip thing now? You know, we're done with Battle Royale. We're moving on to extraction shooter. Okay. Division. Division. Okay, Steven Sims does not care. Yeah, I don't really care about this either. <laughs> uh, I'll play the next mainline Far Cry game, but this, I don't know. Did you it finish five? Like six? No. Yeah, because I remember you said you fell off it. You were playing it for a long yeah, time. Yeah, I got, I got burnt I out. I started yeah. it, and then yeah. I was like, every time I got caught, as a helicopter, and I'm like, helicopters. Fucking me up. But to be yeah. fair, though, it is, it is always there in the back of my mind. Like, you know, you, did, you do like a Far Cry, Steve, and like, mm-hmm. what is, what is fucking Gus Fringe. Like, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? I need to know. Who knows? Who knows? He's got his kid in that game. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah, definitely might go back. And it's always dirt cheap now as well. Yeah. But that's another Uh, save issue I have with you. Why I can't say is with Universal. Huh? Because when I... Do you know what I mean? It's just such a stupid bullshit. Like, what is that about? It's so stupid as well. It's all... It's literally on... Like a, a, it's like a mod. I remember do. I remember renting a game from uh, like a rental thing from here online, and um, I wanted to rent the game again. It was Horizon, and it was like my my save won't load. Oh god, Steven save won't load. On yeah, Horizon. no, the save won't load. So I was like, oh, he was like, oh, you have oh, to. Is that when you went back, you and have to, it. Yeah, you have to, you were like, you have to. This. I didn't platinum it, and I just finished it. And he was like, oh, you have to, okay. you have to, like, it has to match the code. So I, I was like, he was like, what's this code on your console or whatever? And then I, I had to send them the code. That, and then all like, right, yeah, we'll send you a proper copy out. It's weird, man. Like, why can't save just be universal? Oh, right, you played Horizon. Here's a save. Can't work that way. It's be too stupid. simple. Be too simple. Our last news story. Uh, advanced cybernetic master race hackers have possibly found what games will come in the MGS Volume 2 in the data mines of MGS Volume 1. Hold on. What did you say? Say that again. Well, this is what the article said, Sims. Advanced cybernetic master race hackers. It just sounds like something you'd data. say. It sounds like something I'd no, yeah. do. I've got, I've got to add to this, but it's completely at, at, completely at no cost. I've... I've got something to add to this that doesn't add to the story, but it's really funny. Well, in the data mine sims, uh, MGS4, 5, and Peace Walker were found. So people Shocking. are now assuming that in Volume 2 of the collection, those will what be the, the games in Volume 2. Yeah. Which and... I think we are, we're all expecting, right? What else would it be? I mean, it's nice to know that we're getting four somehow. Yeah. 
Yeah. Probably via streaming because it's bullshit. Oh, God, that would fucking suck. Well, no, because it's got to be on Xbox too, right? I guess you could stream it from there too, but I doubt it. But yeah, this is very exciting. We were just talking about how we want to play the volume one of the collection. And Metal Gear is a huge blind spot in my uh, my gaming history. So yeah, uh, bring them all forward. I need to play these. Anything so, else to add, Sims? I'm not on the story, but on, I've got a funny story for you. So, okay, yeah. right. So I've been trying to play. Where is my DM? I've been trying to play Starfield on the PC. Right, simply because... It's free. It's weird. Like if it's like Games Pass, I'm like, if I can go upstairs and play it on the PC for five minutes, I got. I feel like I got more money out of the twelve pounds to thirteen pounds subscription I pay every month. Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. So anyway, right, it won't work. It will not work on your I, PC style. I, it just clicks it, like, and it's like, I click it and it's like crashed. No, I was like, right. Nah. So anyway, so obviously, like any normal human being. I'm like, all right, I drop it in the Xbox support Twitter. Right? So they want... So no, this... no, no normal human being would go in there. Fair enough. All right. <laughs> so anyway, so this normal pedestrian, she's like, listen, this guy named Luca, Lucas Irving on Instagram has been helping me and he sorted this out for me. So I was like, so I went over to Insta. I don't go on Instagram ever. So I dropped him a DM. I was like, hey, someone said you fixed this for, for, for them. How? Sent them a picture of the issue I'm having. This is the issue I'm having. I know that you want to talk. Right? So that says, that says there the game has crashed. Right? Okay. So then... He goes, when did, your game, when did your game start having crashes? So I was like, I was like no, I've never been able to start the game. And he goes, how long have you been using this account? I was like... <laughs> I was like 10 years because how I'll help you fix it. Where are you from? I was like England because what's your username? So I get my username. Um, I'll have to fast check your, cause I'll have to check your account. I feel like you're already giving this guy too much information. Yes. Yeah, so do I? Because someone, I said, someone on Twitter said, well, help me. He goes, yeah, you're going to take a minute. He says, uh, yeah, that's the, do I, do I need, I said, do I need to do it? He goes, nah, he's got it. It says, seems like a bug attack. And I'm like, hold on a minute. I'm stupid, but I'm, I'm a bug attack. So it seems a like a attack, bug attack, okay. yeah. I'll have to remotely debug your game. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. So I was like, how do you do... ask for your credit card uh, no, In a minute, honestly. He goes, he goes, how do you... I goes, how do you do that? He goes, just like I said, I did... Uh, I did... Ran a fast check on the EU servers. Lol. I said, lol, this is way over my head. Like the Matrix. <laughs> Emoji with the glasses. He goes, oh... <laughs> He goes, oh, you fuck off. You said the emoji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, what Okay, great, great, great. Now you're just having fun with this guy. <laughs> yeah, okay. I said, like the major. <laughs> I goes, like the major. oh, fuck off. He did. He goes, I goes, I goes, whatever you're doing, I hope it works. It's been driving me mad. He goes, so, he goes, so should I start, should I start the debug process? I says, does this cost me anything? Do I need to do anything my end? He goes, yeah, we'll need to purchase an alteration code to bypass oh, the little wall. God. Code okay. costs twenty three dollars. The little so, wall. Why is it little? I don't know. I goes. I'm not. I said I'm not paying for something I don't understand, mate. He goes. Yeah, sure. He says maybe try somewhere else if you're not comfortable. I says, and he goes. He goes. I understand you're not. You got to be careful. I says. What you are saying is. This is what I said. I says. So what you are saying is it's a problem on Microsoft's end with the Game Pass and the and Googling the error code says it's corrupt. So what you're doing? So what are you doing exactly? Where are you getting the code? I have to be careful with crap with crash, because my mechanic. <laughs> I have to be careful. I, <laughs> I said I. <laughs> I said I have to be careful with cash because my mechanic says I need a new flux capacitor for my car. You see. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, because I send you the link. Because I says. He goes, I'll send you the link. Follow and get a Razer Gold card. So Razer, my headphones, they have their own like mm -hmm. credit currency for some daft reason. Razer, so now he wants me to buy a Razer Gold card and send me the screenshot. And he goes, send me a screenshot of proof of payment. So, so I was like, so why can't Microsoft sort it? Or this problem always going to happen unless you jack into the mainframe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start the debugging. 
but I need the code to finalize the process. So he goes, where's the link? He goes, G2A.com. He says, why do you need razor points? He goes, nah, it's just for payment. Works easy on both sides. You send a screenshot and I'll get the code. For what razor points? He goes, yeah, I'm also a game player. He says, can't I just pay you a 10 spot? And we call it a day. And I'm not a complete idiot for believing most of <laughs> And I'm not a complete idiot for what you're saying. He goes, nah, only my family and friends work right now. And it takes, um, his friends, it's like family and friends on YouTube. Work, and uh, I'm taking time to confirm payment. But if you can wait, we'll use PayPal. I said, can you not just, can you not charge me? <laughs> just do it. <laughs> call it a favor. <laughs> he goes, sorry, mate, I could. Uh, but that's how it works. I'm not charging you for any for service. I guess I don't want to pay, I'm afraid. <laughs> I got it working once when I downloaded it to my mechanical... Long, long story. So it can't be the mainframe. <laughs> Matrix Neo Morpheus thing. <laughs> I guess, well, you said you really... Guess, oh, mate. It's just bullshit. Okay, so this guy was just... <laughs> I'm just like... I, I was oh, just like... I like, the, I like the point where you realised this dude was a scary... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, anyway, no, 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 because at that point I still didn't, I still kind of, I didn't believe him. But then I did it again. This is kind of a PSA out there, to be fair. Then I did it again, so I, I put it on Xbox Twitter again. I was like, look, I'm still having this problem. What the fuck is going on? And then about twelve people mentioned another guy on Instagram, and they're all bots, and they're all sending you to get scammed. Damn, damn, That's the whole process, all damn. process. We should get in on this. That's crazy, isn't it? My man's I want like some razor points. He's like, he, my man's like, yeah. And I'm like, nah, I'm not as stupid. Like, there's two people. There's two people out there that can rip me off. People in IT and mechanics. Because I know nothing oh, about cars or PCs. Rip you off very easy, exactly. Yeah. Like, um, uh, yeah. my man's like kicking my tires. Like, yeah, you need new air for your tires. And I'm like, <laughs> I'll get fucking. some air. Where do I get the air <laughs> from? Go. Because it's, it's getting delivered now. Like, you know what I'm getting saying? delivered now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like, who uh, am I to argue? Who am I to argue with this mechanic? This man yeah. that's been working for cars for thirty years. He's right. ma- he's big and fat, covered in yeah. oil right now. Right. Yeah. And I'm there covered. You got in a vegetables. little bit of grease on yeah. your forehead. I believe busy, you. Busy, busy you man. About cars, I'm there covered you. in vegetable oil. A bit of soup down my trousers that I've dropped from cooking from right. when I was bl- blending it. Who is sure. he going to believe? Obviously, he's going to order my flux capacitor, the, the my gear stick knob, and the air yeah. for my tires. That's coming in the next couple of days. That, yeah. And obviously, yeah. he's got to install it. So that's two grand. Yeah. Surely, your car will never break down again then. Air is not either. cheap. You know what I mean? Like this yeah. air from Portugal is not cheap. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Steven Sims. <laughs> Let's talk about Spider Man for 10 minutes. Let's talk about Spider Man. <laughs> We got time. Uh, Steven Sims, we're both playing Spider Man. I have uh, almost beat it. I believe I am on the last mission. I'm 65 ish percent through uh, through everything. Just don't forget where you are it. exactly. Please don't spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil um, it. I'm 30% overall game completion. Um, I just hit a part. I'd, I'd say the beginning, the end of Act One. Like stakes are raised with yeah. uh, with Craven. Yeah. Stakes are starting to raise with somebody else. Um Yeah. Um I, I will just say the, the the beginning of this game like nearly just in it not even it's not even crying, it's just happiness. I remember just I just and it, it's a legit I just, people use I don't know. People use this in like in such a blase way, but I genuinely mean it like beginning of the game i was smiling from ear to ear my eyes are wide open and i just felt like a child again and like it just made me feel all these feels man i'm like this game is fucking special like the way the traversal works like as soon as the game like the game does it it isn't in ps1 you know peter jumps out of his window and all of a sudden you're into swinging and as soon as it came and i was like i know and from from playing one to two like there is a there's a technique to it. As soon as you, you start to get that momentum, swing, let go, press X, zo- you know, press L. I knew the buttons as well. Press L three to, and then start into the swing. I just it just oh, it felt so good. Yeah, I'm shocked with how how much they've improved the traversal. Yeah, you know, hundred percent. Like thing. you would think, like you can't improve it anymore uh, after and you have. miles and. 
2018, but man, the fucking wingsuit is just so goddamn fun. You're doing that slingshot thing, like the oh. long slingshots, whatever they call. I uh, I think they're called big jumps or whatever. I forget what the just fuck slingshot. Called, it's just a slingshot. You and just then fly, fly, and then you just soar it, and, and then, then you, you just go straight down into the wingsuit and the momentum. It, yeah. You know what move I'd love to is the the flip sort of thing where you oh, hold the R two and you do the flip. Yeah, then you go right into the wingsuit. It's so, so good. good. And the, yeah, you really would have thought like, oh man, you can't really improve too much more on that. But man, it is so much more fun. To where now, I bet if you go back and try to play uh, Spider Man twenty eighteen or Miles, yeah. you'd be like, oh, yeah. where the fuck's the wingsuit? You, uh, know? Yeah, you can't play it now. Uh, this is gross. And they they put this. it in such a good place as well. They put. Like they have wind, like imagine not imaginary, yeah, but imaginary wind tunnels, and they put them in all yeah. the right spots, like yeah, the, the bridges, everywhere too. the bridges, yeah. and and like the only the only gripe I have is just it's like stopping. Do you know what, what I mean? mean? Like I've got a mark, you know, bad guy outpost over there. And oh, I've, stopping when you're in and the it's just suit. like I just want to, yeah. or both. Just I just want to stop, yeah, and like land with the wingsuit. You can kind of pull back, and they'll do like the, the yeah the fly back and drop down thing. You know, it's you just do that. That's the only thing. The only grab, but yeah, stopping just that. the momentum stopping is never just like good. I really like the ways they got around the bridge and the water and stuff. Like yeah, sliding brilliant. on the water is yeah. very fun, and then that's you can cool. swing on the bridge. That's not because that was skill. always a big question. Like, how are you guys going to get across the water and stuff like mm. that? And they just did multiple different ways. Like, you could swing across the bridge. You could use the wingsuit the whole time. Swimming, you could slide across the water. Yeah, you could. Can you swim? Yes. Yeah, I guess you can. Yeah, because if you, I, I never really, if you haven't got in, enough yeah. moment, momentum from to glide across the. That is sick, by the way. That was spoiled yeah. for me. I was fuming as well. And a fucking stupid like yeah, not, not when you just skim across the water. Like oh a yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. bad man. Like yeah, um yeah. If you you haven't got them, you just swim. Yeah, and like they it. always put the wind tunnels above the water too. So always you can, like, yeah, s- just slide underneath. on the water, yeah. then glide right into that. It's so mm. fun, man. It really is. And then the story, like that, seems to be going somewhere. Like you're a lot further than I am, but yeah, yeah. I mean. There's just moments in the game that I'm just like, this is incredible. You know, yeah, the combat it's is interesting. Go Good. On. Please. Oh, it's always interesting seeing in the story how they're going to change certain things because we all know the basis of most of these stories, right? You know, we know who the villains are and stuff like that. Like, how much Spider Man media have we all consumed at this point? So it's always just interesting to see the twists and turns they're going to take on different things. And I think this is definitely. This is definitely the best iteration of the Venom storyline that I've seen, you know? And granted, I've oh, only really? seen Spider-Man 3 and Venom, right? Venom 1 and 2, the, the movies. You know, I've never read the comics or anything like that. But it, it definitely has up that story to me because I was never, like, the biggest fan of the Venom storyline. But now I definitely am. Now it's just like, oh, holy shit, this is awesome, you know? And I love it. I love the whole connection with Harry and MJ and Peter. That's really fun. They do some great stuff there. I do feel like Miles kind of gets the B plot sort of thing going. Like it's again, I'm not trying to spoil it. Yeah, stuff, I so mean, like, I'm, I, I'm. It's all very much one yeah. note right now. Okay. Um. But yeah, I mean, what where I am that I remember the beginning of Miles, and it was very a bit more up my street. If you mean, if you know what I mean, like. Uh, the first, the first five minutes, of, first ten minutes of the game is you've got like Kid Cudi on, banging song on, and you swing into it. Um, uh, there doesn't seem to be any of that. Like, no, like, yeah, I don't know. They do. Like, it's almost like, like Miles's vibe has been killed a bit because it has to be shared. Yeah, yeah, it's. I do feel like he takes a little bit of a backseat for a, a good portion of the story, but it does connect very well into the main story mm. toward, towards the end more and stuff like that. So I do feel like it came together yeah, really well. Much. Again, I haven't beaten it, but... Uh, oh my God, yeah. The, yeah. The, the, I, I, it, they struggled a little bit with dr- juggling both Peter and Miles, so? I'd say. Uh, just a little, you know, not too badly, but like I, I do feel like it was like... You know, and you kind of wanted this one to feel more like Peter's story than Miles, considering we just got the whole game on Miles yeah. last, right? So you kind of wanted that more, but it is about both of them. So it's just, it, it was a little bit of a juggling act, and I thought they did a good enough job with it. You know, again, not having beat it yet, but I, I probably only have like an hour left. So that's crazy. But yeah, I, I mean, I do 
I did enjoy the story overall quite a bit. I really like, you know, I I don't know how much you gotten into the Craven stuff yet. I I loved Craven in this game. I thought Craven was fucking awesome. Um, uh, and, uh, I mean, he's done something a bit crazy, and I'm like, oh, I didn't expect that. But um, yeah, I don't think he has met him. Yet. I thought Cra- Craven was a good villain to bring to the forefront too, right? Because we haven't gotten him in any of the movies and stuff like that. No, I, yet, obviously, so. I, I've seen him in like the Spider-Man Fox Kids cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I, from the little I knew about Craven, you know, and then coming into this, I felt like they did a really good. But job he's of he's very him menacing. Like a really cool character. Like he's very yeah. menacing. Yeah, um, definitely, hundred percent. Yeah. And, and then uh, there's just moments I would love to talk about, right? Like there's yeah. just really cool. I don't want to spoil anything. Going back so to like, going back to Miles, and then oh very coded because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Um, obviously, Peter get getting Miles to do something that Peter just it wouldn't work out for Peter to do, and then that whole we spoke about it privately. Miles, yeah. oh my fucking baby Jesus! Like what a moment! Yeah, man. it just keeps going with like awesome moments great story beats and stuff like that they really have built like yeah there's been two really big moments and i'm only like i wouldn't even say yeah you mean that there's a few little gripes going you know gripey gripes combat's a bit com it's just the same it's the combat i mean it's dodge it it evolves a little bit i'd say uh yeah, I, I suppose mean, it will you do, know you get it? the black suit. Yeah, because yeah, like, obviously you, know you get the black I've, suit. I've got all of Peter, uh, Peter's one side, and then the, the other side is all locked off, and I'm like, I know exactly what that yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. I just, uh, I what, don't want to play it. As daft as it's at, I don't want to play it. Yeah, I, don't want, I don't want it to be over by next week. <laughs> by yeah. next weekend. Like, I, I'd rather have another two weekends with it. Like, I just, I don't want it to end. And I, like, Last night, I literally put it on just so Natalie was like, felt like I appreciated the game, but I was like, I'd rather just, I don't know, not play. Enjoy it when you have like a good a time. Lot, yeah, it, right? like a long yeah. time. Like, yeah. I enjoyed like the, I played it for like five hours in the morning on Saturday morning because like we're not doing anything because I'm, yeah. I'm, I can't open my front door because a fucking fish will fall in. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's perfect. It's like I can't find anything to fault other than just and I, I mean there's a I, couple of things I would have updated, like the crimes, for instance. It it felt a little lazy to me that you guys did the same thing with the car, you know, and like where you you, you kick the they the seemed a bit they seemed like they dumbed out of the car. Down. They dumbed it down. Because yeah, yeah, originally yeah. you had to dodge, you had to press a button for uh, left seat, right seat, front seat, and then he would yeah. stop the car. Yeah. And that they've done that down. They they seem to have lost a few gadgets because there was a gadget one there where you could like put it on the wall, and if they walk past it, they'd get webbed to the wall. Oh uh, yeah, they did get rid of that. Huh? They got yeah. rid of that, which was um. I, I bet they then, just looked at like what players were using. You know, I used that all the time. But like, I think stealth just yeah. seems a bit harder not, uh, that, from where I am. Yeah, yeah, they kind of dumbed down the whole stealth mechanic because um, too. When I did the stealth, when I did, I was doing a stealth mission with a uh, with Craven's cronies. And the last two would stay together. They wouldn't leave each other's side. Oh, really? They were like, we have to stay together. And I was like, dinging stuff. And they would never leave each other's side. Yeah. Yeah, no, you are right, though. Combat is largely the same. You know, it does. I do the really. The web thing is I, cool. The web thing is cool, yeah. Mm. I wish you could switch in the middle of combat between Miles and Peters. I feel like that would have added another layer on it, you know, to like. And I have. You could like instantly switch during that you know because yeah. like there'll be crimes where you run into miles right i don't yeah know but i like... as miles i've never run into peter i did a couple times i know i haven't yet but i yeah. i did play the first chunk quite as, as miles i did i was like why am because i think the first couple of side quests are miles orientated like because obviously you have that uncle thing going on yeah at right the beginning so i was miles because i was like oh, i don't want to be peter I didn't like taking pictures as Miles. Oh, sure. You want to take Does that make sense? Peter, it makes more and sense. And then I yeah. did, you know what I mean? I didn't, and I, I didn't want to do, I don't think I could have anyway. I never tried. Um, but I, obviously, I, I wanted the Prowler thing to be a Miles thing. Yeah, you have to do those as Miles. Yeah, yeah, so I there's certain tried. ones you have to do as Miles and certain ones you have to do yeah. as Peter. I like that quite a bit. I think that's fun. That's a unique way to do that. And then, uh, what did I want to say? 
Yeah, I can't remember now. I lost my train of thought. God damn it. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm loving the game this far, man. It's just so addicting to play. It really yeah. is, you know. The, 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 like complaints aside, and um, anything I even have, it just like really is. I can't put it down. I'm at work. I'm just constantly thinking about going home and playing Spider Man. I'm like, let's I want to see the you know? pop figures and stuff because we haven't seen any of that yet. Yeah, because they normally release like 30, 40, 40 like they release like ten pop figures for miles. I want to yeah. see like I want the villains. I like villains more than Spider Man themselves. If that. Yeah, uh, but that statue is too rich for Marvel. Two hundred and twenty pounds for that statue. Yeah, and then I've got the plates as well, didn't I? Like very quickly. Oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. On your PS Five, yeah. Yeah, like the 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 Etsy plates. They're not official. Um, I will say, um, no, there was no wrong with them, but um, I have these like three D printed like feet, if that makes sense. Because you don't use the stand, do you at all? No, yeah, that I don't upsets me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got these two little feet that sit on the side, and they just slot into the little grooves. Oh, okay, okay. Because uh, I can't. So, but it kind of like stands on the side, and yeah, it stands like, on the yeah, up. yeah, yeah. Um, but I, they they struggle to fit in because the three D print is just a bit thicker than your average PlayStation plate. If that makes sense. Sure. But like they go on, but they're not as smooth tight in there they are tight but for the better but i i'd like to see an official plate because i think there's a bit of a, a difference in texture but okay. looking at it at the naked eye like they're never official yeah you, and it, you like because you wouldn't difference. know you guys didn't know did you i, I left no nah, yeah you I sent left us pictures for like a day. i had no idea yeah. and i was like yeah, buzzing oh man they came on the no. monday as well I did want to shout out the side quests too in the game because there are some that like you would think are very like simple like we're just going over here to do the mm. simple little thing like the picture thing or something like that but then they turn into like a, a little side story or well, something like that I, I don't I don't know if you've done the one with like the old man in the park yet have you done yes that one? yes yeah yeah like that was a really touching story that Moment. just came out of nowhere yeah I like that yeah where did that come like, from oh, because that's it, awesome it wasn't that, yeah even... that's a, a I lot just of the ran into it. feel like that. Yeah. I didn't even, it wasn't, I mean, I was just, I, I don't know, I ended up in this part of New York next to Central Park, isn't it? And then this woman was like, I clicked this woman and it just led to, can you find my grandpa? Yeah. And I do like, I do like the science-y, uh, science-y puzzles as well. Yeah. The, like, those are a bit better now in this one. And I'm just like, the, the, D, the DNA, um, you know, the bad, get rid of the bad cells. Yeah, and then, um, and then even when I was, I've done all the science missions, going around New York, and um, like the plants, you have to like put the, yeah, 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 yeah man, I'm having a great Those time. Those ones you have to do as Peter. Yeah, I like all that stuff too. I know a lot of people complain about all that stuff. I mean, what don't get wrong. If you get about water, the, I'll just well, quit. The, the 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 stupid MJ missions. There's I haven't there's done it a yet. couple. Yeah, okay. There's a couple in the main story. And they are different from this one. So, like, I like these when you're just walking around and learning things about lore. You know, you're picking things up, picking up an object, turning it around, doing all that shit. And you get a little little quote about it or something like that. Get some background, some lore. But then uh, MJ missions pretty much just turn into a stealth mission in, in this one. And I know they did in the last one, too. But, like, she has, like, a little weapon now in this one. And it's just bad. It's but just the, bad stuff. She's got the doodle, are not she? Yeah, she's got the, the little, little red it. gun or something like she that. It's like a little it taser. On Coney Island, yeah. Yeah, and it's just like, why are you guys doing this? <laughs> like, what is the point of this? Why Why are we there? I get the want to play as MJ, and like that'd be fine if you're just giving me lore and stuff like that, and I'm just doing cool little walk around bits as MJ. That's fine. But as soon as you turn it into a stealth action game, I'm like, all right, why? Why? No, mm, no need. Not a fan. I just want to know. I just want to know if we're getting another spider. Don't yeah. ruin it. I just, I don't think we will. Good questions. But it'd be nice to be like, I wonder if we are getting a Gwen. But it doesn't look like there's a Gwen in this world yet. But I, you know, I, I, in my mind, I'm already seeing the next showcase Spider-Man mini series game for next year. I want another smaller one next Me. and then spider-man 3 and yeah. then you wrap it do it that's, all again that's, yeah that's kind of how i would like it yeah or like uh, hopefully we get a, a post game credits and it's wolverine see i'm 
I'm very I'm interested if they connect the Wolverine game into the Spider-Man world if it's one connected universe. But he's not, not mentioned. He's not. No one's mentioned Wolverine. Yet. Yeah, no, I'm early. Me, I'm me neither. Early. Yeah, I mean, and I'm later, so I mean, slight spoiler. Sorry, but yeah, no one's mentioned anything about Wolverine. No, yet, I would have. You would have seen it on the internet. The internet would have blown up with it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that probably would have been spoiled. So yeah, who knows? But yeah, the costumes are cool Spider-Man as well. Some of the costumes, costumes are fucking awesome. They went all out in the fucking costumes. It, I've seen one. I don't mind being. Is there a a white Power Ranger one? I think so. I th- oh not, sure. I don't think I've it's seen specifically it, a Power Ranger, but I don't know if it's real. Oh okay. Maybe but it is not. very much know. white I've, outline. Looks like a Power gold, Ranger. Gold, gold shield. Okay, I haven't seen this one. Uh, but I maybe don't know if it's is. real. Maybe it's not yeah. real. There's so many different variations of the costumes now. Yeah, I've not even honestly. Four different colors. I've not changed it. I've them. not changed. I refuse. No, to do I it. keep the main suit too, just for the whole main story, because I don't want a cut scene where he's not like in the main suit. You know, yeah, it's a little weird. On. But uh, I d- I have gotten a couple cool ones, dude. I got a shout out again the Into the Spider Verse suit. I know this was in Miles as well, but there's one for Peter in this one too, and uh, is that is just the craziest looking graphically. Fit, is it good with the graphics thing. as well? Because they don't. Because every back last year's game, whenever her, it was like Miles. every suit. Came with the with the power, yeah. And now obviously they're not doing that, are they? No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't change the entire graphics of the game. No, but, but like, it just, just slows like it, the graphics just, of the yeah, suit. Yeah. yeah, and then they, they they like drop the frame rate of whatever on the suit. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I couldn't. It do looks it. like magic every time you put that suit on. Like it just looks so crazy. I want a whole game in that style. That'd be awesome. I'm gonna go play it for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. We just rush it for ten minutes every day. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Just draw this out a year. You know, yeah. draw it out to the next Spider Man. Uh, game. Next, this title episode two hundred ninety four. I've not finished it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, Peter said the word "the" and then I turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's going to do it for the Nerd Gods Podcast, episode 194. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember remember to subscribe to us over at youtube.com slash nerdgods. You can also find us available on all audio platforms. Steven Sims, anything else you want to say? <sighs> go for a sneeze or a yawn? Oh, it's a yawn. Okay. Tai Tai. Grimace is Tai Tai. See you later, Grimace everybody. Is tai tai. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Spyro says bye, too. Do-do-do. <laughs>